Hello, my little gravy boats. I'm very determined to get this house done today. We're all kitted out, so uh, let's get going. Hey guys, so before we get into the actual video, I just wanted to talk to you guys about a couple things. The first thing is that I have recently rebranded my channel and this is because I want to be able to play more than just Minecraft. I will of course be doing Minecraft still, <laughs> but I wanted to know what kind of games you guys wanted to see me play. There's one called Hades that I really want to try that I also want to stream on my Twitch. Here you go. <laughs> and there's some others as well. I want to know what kind of games you guys want me to play. Uh, the other thing is, would you guys want me to do a mod showcase for Better Minecraft? With our Let's Play series, we'll definitely be getting into a lot of this stuff, but I didn't know if you guys wanted something more in-depth where I would create a new world, and then I'd just go into creative, and then we could look at everything more in-depth. <laughs> but yeah, let me know what you guys think about all of that. <laughs> and here we go. All right, so I went ahead and I built up the house for the most part, all except for the roof bits. So this is what the, hello, <laughs> this is what the roof is going to end up looking like and that's how tall I want the tower to be, I'm thinking. So now all we have to do is go and find those trees in the end, which is definitely proving to be way more difficult than I had anticipated. The other thing that I wanted to show you guys here is with, where did I put them? Ah, yes these mystery eggs and also our ice dragon egg. So for this, all you have to do is place it and then right click it and there we go. It's going to hatch here pretty soon. I think it does take just a little bit of time, but with these mystery dragon eggs, you have to have an egg analyzer. So you chuck in your egg and then you chuck in a redstone dust and then it tells you what the, what the thing is. So that's nifty. So we're just gonna leave that in there and then we'll do all of these eggs just to see what they are. And then we can put them in the incubator, which is right next to us here, this orange thing. And I will show you guys what the incubator is gonna do after I get all of these analyzed. Okay, so this is the egg incubator, which we made a little bit ago. So it takes blaze powder and I'm just going to get some more blaze powder to put in here because these, uh, the eggs, it shows the spawn chance just as it is. So if you were to throw it, this penguin egg, which is really cool actually, <laughs> has a 70% chance of spawning a penguin. This duck egg has 60%, blue jay 70, and owl 70. So what you do is you chuck these into the egg incubator and the blaze powder will increase the spawn chances. Okay, yeah, so these ones are already up like 90%, 80%, 90%. So it won't go up higher than that from what I noticed. And I'm just going to take that one out as well because 80% is pretty good, I think. So the penguin egg, I don't know if it takes a specific biome to be in, but we're just going to... Oh my god! Oh, he's precious. Okay, and this one's a blue jay. An owl. Oh, hello. Ooh. Okay, bye. And this one's a duck. Oh, look at a little ducky. But yeah, that's how you get the mystery egg doodaddies. <laughs> and whenever this guy hatches, I will show you guys what this dragon looks like. Okay, so I don't know if it takes a specific kind of fish. Come here, friend. Nor do I know how many necessarily it's going to take. Oh, there we go. He loves me. Oh my goodness. I can't get over how cool he looks. Like, the blue parts are kind of transparent. Yes, I know. 
Okay, and in order, you can get them to lay down. You just shift and right click and they'll lay down. Oh my god. And now we can go see if we can find that stinking purple wood. Y'all, an absolute miracle happened and I found where we died. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't remember what direction we'd went in because after that happened, I absolutely rage quit. So <laughs> we're back into the section that we died, which is absolutely fantastic. But, oh goodness sake, there's lots of shulkers here that I didn't exactly take care of when I was here the first time. <laughs> Ouch. And these guys as well. I don't know what they are, but oh my goodness, are they intense. We're gonna heck and die again. We're gonna heck and die again. I'm not the most okay right now. Um, y'all know the drill by now. We'll meet at the dead body. All right, we are approaching, which this place looks really cool, by the way. <laughs> These are purper golems. They're very interesting looking. I think they will attack you. So, okay, body transfer. Very good, very good. So there's these shulker boxes here. Um, that's really awesome that you get some free ones. This one I accidentally destroyed because I'm an idiot. All right, now we can continue our quest to find that stinking purple wood. Uh, there's also a ship over there that I think we should definitely check out. We might be able to find an Elytra. These ships are definitely difficult <laughs> but you get some really OP stuff out of them. So like lots and lots of backup armor and stuff. And I haven't even checked all of the chests yet. Also, I did find out what reforming means. So it's an enchantment that helps your tools and armor slowly regain durability over time. So that's pretty cool to have as well. But yeah, I still haven't found the wood that I've been looking for. There is this purple, but I think it's too much of a warm tone purple to be what we're looking for. I want that cool tone purple because everything else we that we're using is cooler tones. But yeah, I am going to continue my search now <laughs> and I will update you guys when we finally found the purple trees of our dreams. I'm having quite a time I must say, I found another one of those portal things and it brought me back here. I went so far, so far. And now I gotta go all the way back out there. All the way back out there. You guys, I still haven't found it yet. <laughs> but look at what I did find. Oh my God. Look at how beautiful this is. Oh god. It's fine. It's fine. But look at how beautiful this is. What is this stuff anyway? Aurora crystal. Okay, I'm assuming that you're gonna have to get this with silk touch, yes? Oh no! What is this? Crystal shards. I can't handle it. Ugh. Chef's kiss. You guys! After 50 bazillion years of looking. We found it. <laughs> oh my goodness. What is that noise? Oh, it's an endermite. Oh my goodness, it scared the crap out of me. Woo! All right. I can't believe we finally found it. Holy crap. All right. Well, I'm going to collect as much of this as I can, and then we are going home. Going home and never coming back. <laughs> I just hope that I'm able to collect enough that we don't actually have to come back here because it took forever. I swear to you, I've been searching for a little over an hour just to find this stupid wood. So yeah, here I am collecting it. I will see you guys back at the house and then we can get started on finishing said house. <laughs> Okay, guys, we are back home and I have everything sorted into the shulker boxes. Now, before we get into what we got and stuff, I want to give you guys an update on what our dragon looks like. Look at how big he's gotten already. Oh, goodness, he's so beautiful. We need to find a name for him. Yes, we need to name you. 
let's get into what we got while we were out. So I did find four of those ships while I was looking around all over the dang place. And we've got four Elytras and five Ender Chests. These are all the Crystal Shards that I got from that Crystal Mountain Island thing that I found. And then I got two of these Mimi Cream doodad things. I don't really know what they did, so I only kept these two. Uh, this one has most of the valuable stuff in it. We ended up getting 25 diamonds, two uh, dragon eggs, gold, some emeralds, iron, and then I got 15 shulker shells. This one's just some random stuff that I got, um, plus like the extra torches and stuff that I had, and then ender pearls, and yeah, all of that junk. This is all of the tools that we got, plus the old iron stuff from our body that we, from when we died the first time. <laughs> but yeah, we'll have some nice backup stuff for a while. Same goes for all of our armor and stuff. We'll have some nice backup armor for a while as well. And then as well as all of that stuff that I got from the boats... I got three shulker boxes full of our purple wood. <laughs> so, now we are able to start work on our house. And my goodness, am I excited to work on the house. Mr. Blue Jay over here is also very ready. Huh. Ready to get this house together, huh? Yes! Okay guys, the house is done. I'm so excited! So, here it is. Oh my goodness, I can't handle how much I love this. And oh my god, I only have two arrows left. Oh, and I missed. Get that in. Okay, but this is the house. I have some of the inside finished as well, but we'll go ahead and take a tour of the outside. So I added some of these ender sconces. Ow! Why can't I show off my house? Why? Ow! I hate these guys. I hate them so much. They're so heckin' rude. No, 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 no. All right, let's see. Um, ow! Yeah, heck off. Lighting my place on fire and everything. Where was I? Okay. I added these ender sconces because they have purple fire. Purple. Look, look, look at it. I also added these candles. So. There is a mod pack in here called Buzzier Bees, and it gives you these candles, which are a lot bigger than the regular ones, which I do have a regular one on this side, right here. Like, these ones are smaller. And on top of that, these ones, when you place them, they're automatically lit, which is really cool. Uh, here I got a cactus in a pot on a trap door. I just put, like, some slabs and stuff like that around as well. We've got some white glass panes some flowers in pots and these are lament vines yeah they like ooze stuff but i thought it looked really cool <laughs> i also put some of the dragon tree fences i have all of this stuff uh blocked off with string to keep it from growing chains of course i love chains i put one of these saplings in a pot some more vines yeah it's basically all the same stuff just everywhere so this is this side. I did add some of the buttons on the amethyst on the roof up there as well. I do need to do a couple more things to the sides, like this back side especially. Yeah, this side I put some vines and stuff. But this side, I just need to add a few more things, I'm thinking, to the sides here to make it not look so blah. But yeah, this is what the outside of the house looks like. A little blue jay friend is still hanging out up there. And then we can go ahead and check out the- Oh my- This has not been fixed. The issue has not been fixed. Why? I am not okay. I thought this issue would have been fixed. It has not happened once since I started building this. It's technically a lie. It happened outside. But inside, no. Can anybody tell me how to fix this? Because I'm sick of it. We're gonna act like it didn't happen. So guys, yes, that is the outside of the house. Now we can check the inside. Ta-da! Ignore the arrows. So I put some more of these uh, ender sconces on the inside here and I put some paintings. 
or close that. This is our little table I just made with the river fences and the dragon tree trap doors and then a couple seats or paintings. We'll do, yeah, we'll check this out first. So this globe that we found in one of the very first episodes, I decided to look really nice here in our little library area. They have an ender campfire as well that I made with the river logs. So now we have purple campfire in here, which I thought was really cool. Over here, I put one of the dragon tree saplings in a pot, some end rods here, just cause pretty. And then our beds here. And then they have these little like bedside table looking things, which I thought was really cool. And then this painting here. And then this is our little kitchen area. So here we've got food. There's nothing in it, so it didn't spit anything at us. <laughs> uh, but here we've got some barrels just for food storage, stuff like that. This is my attempt at a stove <laughs> and then a sink, of course. And yeah, that's what the inside's looking like so far. I do need some suggestions on what else to do in here. I'm not the greatest with interior designing and stuff like that. I'm definitely more accustomed to the outside. Our dragon grew up all the way and we were able to put a saddle on him so we can stand him up and now we can ride him. So to get him to walk, you just press W, A, S, and D. And then to fly, you just use your mouse and you look up, pressing forward and then space bar, like you're jumping. And then you just look up if you wanna go up farther. Yeah, this is just how you control him. It's so cool. So now we can fly places without needing an elytra. We also need a, a name for this guy or gal. So if you have any name suggestions, I'm always very much open to naming, but we'll go ahead and land. And yeah, okay, plop. Thank you, dragon. Beautiful little thing you. But yeah, guys, I think that's going to be today's episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked it, please demolish the like button <gasps> gently. And if you want to as well, you can become a little gravy boat and subscribe. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! Bruh. Puppies? Please? I just need some puppies. All I want is some puppies. And I can't find any. <laughs>